Hi everyone, this is Stacy from Jamaica and I'm going to talk about before coming to Japan. Yes, I am in Japan and this is my second video. So before coming to Japan, we want to put some things in place. Um, so set your house in order with regards to your financial institutions. So get in touch with your banks, especially your credit card bank. Um, insurance representatives for your life insurance ensure that's up to date and if you have alternative ways of making payments like online payments you want to get that option as well if you are the only one on your bank accounts regardless of whatever account it is you would want to get somebody else on your account who would be able to sign for you in your absence um yes so everything with regards to your finances you want to get that sorted out uh, you can leave your debit cards unless it's like a debit visa card that you can actually use online or while in japan but japan is not very big on credit cards so yeah something to think about um it's very important and helpful for yourself to start studying Japanese before you actually get here so I would say at least six months to a year before you come to Japan start studying your Japanese ABC's that would be very helpful to you alright now bring some Jamaican or some cultural items more so for yourself you know you see I have my little flag there yay for yourself um, it will be very helpful when those holidays in Jamaica come around like independence emancipation and you know those holidays where you really want to feel like you're at home if you are not able to travel back home so yes you know your t-shirts and your caps dresses you know beach wraps whatever you can bring just bring something for yourself right um, very important know what season you are coming in whether it's spring winter autumn summer this is japan it has all the seasons of the year quite distinctly <laughs> so it's very important to know which season you're coming in so you know how to utilize your luggage space very important all right now a lot of the things you know the essentials of life daily essentials like deodorant toothpaste toothbrush you know toilet paper those things you can get in Japan but you still want to have uh, a basic supply probably at one to three weeks worth of, of that kind of thing um, until you are settled into your apartment and get more familiar with your community or city wherever you're placed so don't worry too much about like bringing a whole stack of these things you know lotion and it's helpful for you especially if you have a favorite brand but they are accessible in Japan not your favorite brands really but you can order your favorite brands online um, so just think about this you know because you won't have a lot of luggage space and you will have to move about with your luggage by yourself when you land at the airport and possibly take the train and so on so you don't want to have too heavy a suitcase that you can't manage by yourself right come with a positive attitude willingness to learn be open-minded japan is not jamaica it is not even close it's 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 far from what we're used to you know when we visit America or we visit Canada or we visit even the UK there's nothing familiar about Japan for a Jamaican unless you end up in like a really really um, major city like Tokyo and even so it's not familiar because of all these because it's so much of a huge city we don't have anything like that to compare in Jamaica so come with your you know i'm going to do this attitude you're going to need it right as far as food is concerned the kind of variety of fruits that we have in jamaica 
is not in Japan. No breadfruit, no aki, no juplum, no guava. You know them whole heap of things there. So, you know, just, just come with an open mind. Yes, to try new things. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, personally, I walked with my degree, the hard, hard copy. I walked with my degree and um, other certificates that I have. So you can walk with those if you want, depending on what your intentions are, how long you plan on staying in Japan. Mind you, these things can be shipped to you or, you know, so you don't really have to necessarily walk with them. And some places do accept the soft copy, which can be emailed. So, yes, but that's what I did. Um, copies of three family members birth certificate. Now, this was a suggestion by someone who was here formerly, and it's helpful for when it's time to file taxes. Yay! You have to file your own taxes in Japan, and we are not used to doing that in Jamaica. Yes. So, when that time comes around, it's helpful in reducing the amount of taxes you may have to pay if they see the remittances you know via the receipts that you would have been sending back home to your family members family members very important okay an unlocked smartphone would be very helpful very helpful if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a phone in japan if you want like you know the latest phone in japan it can cost you like a hundred thousand dollars because the phone companies are not going to be willing to give you a phone contract as a foreigner which includes the phone price and the monthly payment plan so instead of say paying ten thousand dollars per month which will be covering the cost of the phone and your um, data plan you'd have to buy the handset up front for like between fifty to a hundred thousand dollars and then get the plan and pay an additional five, six, seven thousand dollars per month, right? Every situation is different, but this is just some of the things that I've heard and experienced myself since being here, right? Of course, compatibility is very important. So I'm going to put a link below where you can check if your phone will actually work in Japan, right? And Bear in mind, even if your phone might work, the phone company might not necessarily want to give you a contract with that phone. You know, they're not obligated to, but um, there are other options of buying your own SIM card and inserting and, and so on. <coughs> All right, now, if you have family members that you want to keep in touch with back home, your mother, your father, siblings, or even friends who are not tech savvy and are not up to date with the latest social uh, media, you know, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, those things. You may want to set that up for them before you leave if they won't have somebody like readily available to do that for them. Okay? Skype, IMO, those are good too. All right, please. There is a Facebook group called Jamaicans Living in Japan. Please join it for other information or to post questions. You can search the group for questions that would have already been answered. And, you know, just find persons who are like minded in terms of culture and who will be able to understand you. Yes. Now, if you think I have left out anything, you can add a comment below, uh, ask me a question, you know, in the comment box or anything like that. Um, now, just an additional tip. I brought a hundred one dollar coins with me and I have found them very helpful as cultural items, you know, to share with um, others, whether my students or with other persons I meet at church and so on. Um, it's very helpful and it's easy to carry you know and if you want to give them away hey you can always give them away right um, hmm one other thing proof of address but this can also be emailed to you 
proof of address of where you were living in Japan and this is applicable to those who will be coming here to drive if you're coming in a driving position with whatever company you're coming with it will be helpful when you want to renew your driver's license or rather get a Japanese driver's license while you're in Japan because the international permit only lasts for one year and after that if you wish to continue driving in Japan you will have to get a Japanese driver's license so proof of address for at least three months of where you are living in Jamaica is going to be helpful as well as a copy of your school transcript this is also going to prove helpful Okay, make sure your passport is up to date, your visas, and anything like that you would need to do in Jamaica, which may not be as easy to do in Japan if you come here and need something done immediately. Well, thank you for watching Stacy in Japan. Please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them in the comments box below. And... I'll see you on the next video. Bye.